Hello, welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at some exercises to improve proprioception. So um, proprioception is basically uh, like a neurological system that runs in the background all the time to basically give the body feedback as to where it is. Um, you know, and all joints have this, the whole body has this, but can easily become disrupted from injury, uh, surgery, um, some disease or illnesses and even inactivity. So using exercises to help enhance it and maintain it are important. So let's have a look at, at some of the ones you can do. So um, this first one's quite simple, but having said that, it's quite difficult. So all you got to do, stand on one leg and then close your eyes. And you'll see the minute I close my eyes, there's a chance that I'm going to lose it just like that. Um, and you, know, and you, you could repeatedly try the same side and try to learn from your mistakes. Um, and you can see how, like, each time I make a mistake, I'm basically learning something of how to correct it. Now, I am noticeably find this harder on my left leg because I've had lots of trouble with my left ankle in the past. And the ankle is one of the areas that's very prone to losses of uh, proprioception from some repeated sprains. And you can see, like, I'm really struggling. Where the right leg, I felt like I had control. This one, it's just like a constant battle. Um, you know, so it's something that I continue to work on. And like I said, as, as the more you do, the, the better you get it. You adjust to the mistakes each time. So, all right, so that's the first exercise, quite a simple one. Um, next one, we can use a BOSU. So not necessarily needing this for um, balance as such. And like I could just stand on this even. But if I start to incorporate some movements, um, so a simple squatting movement, it, it it basically improves the proprioception, almost um, mimicking the action. So if I wanted to improve the squatting action and not just proprioception, so I'm also working where the last one was probably exposing the ankle joint. Now I've got the ankle, knee, hip, and also the core. Um, so all I have to do is just lower myself into a squat and with my eyes closed. So it's one of those exercises that looks really easy when you see someone else do it, but when you try it, you can really notice that, that there's lots of things going on. You see my ankles are moving forward and backwards, almost like plantar flexing there. And there's a constant weight shift with right and left. Left, And I'm, my body's constantly trying to find ways of, because I've lost my main feedback system as to where I am being my, my visual system, my eyes. So now my hands and my whole, entire body are trying to figure out where I am, where, how do I need to position so I don't fall over. This would be very similar to what would happen when you walk in the dark. If the lights go out and it's pitch black and you can't see, you would have your hands just like that to provide feedback as to where you are so you don't walk into things or fall over. All right, so it's a, quite a clever way of, in, in, of getting into that system is just by shutting your eyes. Um, so another one, I can, now this is one where I'm going to do like a shoulder test. Now it doesn't quite work um, for this video. It doesn't quite work as well. Um, because I really think should have like a but for the video you wouldn't be able to see it but basically I just find a, a point on a pole or a wall usually I'll put chalk on someone's finger so just crush up some chalk so it's like a powder so then you you basically touch the wall on that first go with your eyes open and then the next go you're trying to touch that exact same point with your finger but with your eyes shut all right and usually if there's a problem at the shoulder the hand will not be able to find that exact same spot. So your eyes open there, you touch that part of the wall, or in this case the pole, you close your eyes, and then you do it again, and you should be able to hit that exact same spot. All right? Um, it's quite a simple one that I use from time to time with really severe shoulder injuries or post-surgery, and it's a great exercise to try and develop that system to learn how to interact with itself more effectively again which then in increases your chance of improving stability and strength. Now this next one is what we call the inline lunge or stability lunge. Um, so I don't really need a lot of strength, but I do need a lot of stability. And again, the proprioception comes into it the minute I close my eyes, and especially if I put my hands behind my head. All right, so once I put my hands behind my head, my body becomes more very top heavy. You can see like I start the same thing we saw before when I was standing one leg, you start to see the same thing again. So on one side I'm really good, on this side I'm, I'm a little bit more unstable. So I can't seem to kind of 
try and find the that nice position this side I find is easy you know I, I can get into that and I don't really find um, it's a struggle but every time I come to the right side it's like a real battle I can't quite find where I need to be I always feel like I'm going to over stabilize over correct it all right but it's a great one for that mimics the the action of falling so I use this from time to time with older adults and people with walking impairments and there, there it goes there that's that's that point where I'm, and usually it's like something to do with stiffness at the hips um, that's sort of corrupting your your body's attempts to stabilize itself you know where I feel really comfortable on that one even if I go to lose it I don't I feel like I can regain it this one I've just always got that real sense of like uh, where am I what am I doing you know so um, so a great exercise you can use and I've featured this one many times before with um, hip and shoulder I mean hip and pelvic problems all right next one is uh, this time I'm going to keep my eyes open all right so this is the first one I've got my eyes open um, now again I bring back the BOSU now this is a lot different because this time even though my eyes are open they're actually on the move so they kind of throw me out because I'm going to be watching the ball so I've got the ball out in front of me and I'm my feet are off the floor on it, so I'm on the base. So even so, just this on its own, it's a bit of a challenge. So I take my eyes away from a fixed point, so a horizon point. So now when I'm moving it around, my body has to sense where it is, so I don't uh, completely lose my balance. All right. So these ones aren't so bad when I'm moving out to the side, but when it starts to go overhead, which I'll do in a second, that's when it really changes everything because body really loses its its um, position of where it is now this would be very similar to what you'd see in sports when someone's watching running to try and catch a ball as you would see in baseball or cricket or the ball's hidden to the outfield and there's someone running behind to, running out to catch the ball with their eyes in the air this is where they have to rely on their proprioceptive system to make sure that they don't run into something or fall over while they're running it's quite a tricky one to get right and you can see i'm sort of overbalanced there and again the mistakes are great you sort of actually trying to find a way to bring on the mistakes to get tap into that system to make it improve and adapt all right so as opposed to other exercises where you're minimizing mistakes this one you're trying to find the right challenge and progression that brings them on um, so that your body's constantly tapping into it to make it better than it used to be all right so very very simple exercise deceptively difficult if you ever try it yourself you'll see what i mean and it's hard to try and it's quite exhausting in some regards the brain strain you know and even your quads and your core start to get a little bit fatigued on that all right so it's another great drill that you can use with the bosu the, basically all bosu and things that bring on reactive um, corrections for the posture and that are all in some way proprioceptive just the more you close your eyes or move your eyes away from things is when it changes everything this last one's the hip airplane this one's arguably the hardest because it brings strength and that into it a lot more than all the other ones all right so now i need a lot of strength in the feet um, obviously the glutes are the big factor here and you know and the, obviously the appropriate so my eyes looking away from a fixed point just like the last one so my eyes are open but i have to but by me looking away i don't have something as a reference point as to where i am the appropriate reception in my ankle my knee my hip and my core are working massive just so I don't fall over and again I'm not as good on this left one just like I wasn't with standing um, so then you're trying to rotate around so now I'm trying to get really good feel of that knee because it's going to wobble around like crazy and then the strength of the glute and the feet working together are what really ties it all together and you know and then I'll lose it there you know and again I could do like three to four reps on the same side or I could do what I've done here one and one um, but all great exercises that really challenge the the stability and the strength in a big way now the last one you can do is backward walking um, so i often do this on like on a balance beam or on a, on a line um, now backwards walking is great because you can't see what your feet are doing all right so so as i'm walking backward there i have to my brain has to have a feeling of what's behind me obviously you would want to um, make sure whatever you're doing has it, you're not going to stumble and walk into something but but you know that's where a balance beam is great because you can feel it with your toes feel it with your feet and it's a lot harder you can check the links below because i'll put a description of articles and videos where i've done that before i just didn't set it up on this one but 
but just walking on, on its own is still a proprioceptive exercise. Now, I'll use that a lot with older adults, falls prevention programs and things like that. Um, very simple to do. And, you know, again, all of these exercises are quite simple besides the hip airplane. They're, they're just um, very frustrating if you have a proprioceptive deficit or some balance issue, but that's the whole reason you're using it, to try and challenge it and to stimulate it. So they're not really strengthening. They're more stabilising, but better than that because they're tapping into this neurological system by disrupting what's going on with your main feedback system being your, your eyes and your visual system. So by spending time with them, you really can enhance everything that's in specific joints and, and the specific movement patterns that, that you may be struggling with. All right. So anyway, so I hope um, this exercise, this video gives you some good ideas of exercises you can use. You can use them as warm-ups, you can use them between sets, um, you know, and, and the more you practice them, the better you get. All right, so yeah, I hope it gives you some ideas in your training and we'll see you in the next video.